Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Let's Play No Man's Sky. Today we are going to go through the derelict that we covered uh, on the live stream. We're going to go through it without lava shotgun going off every couple of seconds. <laughs> uh, why are we looking at the scene? Because it's a radical scene. I love that beginning of the game and also because my game crashed and so we're we're back here. <laughs> All right. Let's check the inventory here to see. Yep, it didn't save a thing. Like a ton of time went by. So let's go upstairs. Don't quite know what's going on with the game today. Thankfully, we didn't have any difficulties with the live, sh live stream. I hope you all uh, enjoyed that. Uh, I had a blast. It's always a blast to play with lava. We're just going to dump this stuff right into storage. Except for that, that goes into a high capacity. And that goes into high capacity. I don't think we're going to do anything to lose shields today, so we'll get rid of that as well. And storage. And here's the salvage frigate modules. We have two. Uh, we are working on getting more. Uh, one of the parts that I got was uh, this lamp, which was what I was super interested in getting. Uh, I really like this lamp. It has a lot of applications. I just threw one down here <laughs> for fun. Uh, but you have to have a base computer. So for immediate lighting, we still don't have a solution. I am hoping for that because they have effectively destroyed our torch. It's very bright inside our own ship, but uh, inside of caves, it's very dim, and on the freighter, on the derelicts, it's almost useless. I really like that uh, classic look, that sort of 1940s modern style that the solar ships represent with their flares and uh, front end and torpedoes and swept wings and I have two of them. I like this one better because it's white. That's the only reason why I like it better. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at that derelict. If you are enjoying uh, Let's Play No Man's Sky, please click the like button. When, uh, when people click that button, it, it tells YouTube that they should share the video. And we'll go into the back here where I actually had those receivers uh, all along. I thought they were all on the freighter, and so that's where I used the one that I used last week on the live stream. Fingers crossed we can get through this. Let's take a quick look at uh, what parts we still need. Uh, we're going to go into constructed technology. And oops. And I never can remember what that button is. Oh, sorry. Construction parts, not technology. <laughs> and we'll just flick down to the derelicts page. There we go. So here are the derelict parts. Uh, they're all listed in the catalog, whether you have them or not. And so the ones that I'm missing are the ones that don't have the the tools next to them. So industrial barrel, uh, crew foot locker, storage unit, salvage crate, crew locker, and uh, sample container are all the ones that we're still looking for. Plus as many salvage frigate modules as we can get. Now what happened uh, when my game crashed was that wasn't working and I tried to switch between guns and then my game crashed. And I'm not sure um, if it was uh, just too much information or if my computer just wasn't quite ready. 
Uh, when you do derelicts, always make sure to grab this crate right here. You can see in the corner what I got, which was repair kits, condensed carbon, and sodium. The repair kits being the most valuable part of that, I'm sure. You can use them to uh, fix crash ships to sell them, uh, or fix your own ship after going through a black hole. Now, let's get through this thing. I definitely need that gun. Uh, there's no bugs on the Eisentam version of this freighter. That was tainted metal this time. Last time it was nanite. And over in this corner is another one. Let's turn on the light. Tainted metal again. It's fantastic. All right, here we go. There's a drone here. There's a drone over here. There we go. They're fairly easy to dispatch. There you are. All right, now, the, uh, the parts are in these crates. Salvage frigate module right off the bat. I like that. But we're going to grab all these lockers as well. Look out for flying microwaves. <laughs> and just get yourself into a good position and just sidestep through these. And some units. Who doesn't like units? There's some more tainted metal, too. Nice. All of the stuff to cheer up our our frenemies. <laughs> our frenemies, the Corvax and the Gek. There's some nip nip. Now uh if you pick up uh nip nip or any other contraband, you're gonna wanna get rid of it, put it on your freighter or sell it or whatever you're gonna do with it. Put it away before you go to a, a normal star system because uh Sentinels don't like that, and they will try to scan you. You can attempt to use uh, the scanner, uh, the sort of scan blocker. And here's another crate. All right, there's door 2A. Let's try to find the, the other door, if there is one in this room. It's the entrance. I was kind of just following lava through this, so I didn't really see <laughs> much of anything <laughs> other than the blinding white flashes in my eyes every time he fired his shotgun. <laughs> All right, there's a, a briefcase there. There's a crate hiding up there. Wow. We are getting loads of tainted metal. Anything back there? One of the other things you can do, uh, if you're having a hard time finding stuff, you can actually scan, and you can see how things light up. Something over here, it says that I missed. Oh no, those other lockers in the other room. That's cool. Main cargo bay B44. Shouldn't the main cargo bay be A1? <laughs> oh, hypnotic eye. Don't stare at those things. You'll get hypnotized. These things don't. Uh, come down too well with the pulse spitter, so we'll use that. Alright, let's see. We 
what's in this crate? Storm crystal. Well, this is a good sign. I didn't get this far <laughs> on my first attempt to record this today. Ton of tainted metal. That's cool. There's parts that I don't have uh, because of uh, using tainted metal to uh, get um, nanites instead of using it to buy parts. You can use them. Uh, use the tainted metal to buy parts from the scrap dealer. These things uh, are okay if you are in need of sodium or oxygen. That's what the what's in these things. Halo cores. Another way of getting nanites. Scared me. There was a little a little hesitation on the door there. Nice. S class photon cannon. These little briefcases are always uh, cash nanites or tainted metal. I'll just go right through here. I don't know why he just exhaled, but it scared the living hell out of me. <laughs> that was very startling. All right, let's go downstairs. When you're going downstairs, step off the stairs and then immediately hit the back button. That way you don't get stuck to the stairs. And then you can walk around them. Something. Must be above me or below me somewhere. I hear you. Ah, he's up there somewhere. All right. They're in the next room. They're aggroing on me from the next room over. <laughs> All right, let's go around and get the other side now. There was only that one right there. And we already got that. Alrighty. A lot of people came out for the live stream. That was awesome. Amazing computing community. A whole lot of people watched the live stream uh, as VOD, which is also awesome. I really appreciate it. And uh, of course, I hope you enjoyed it. We don't take it too seriously. We just try to have a lot of fun. Oops, missed that one. This room is blocked in the middle. <laughs> Let me through. Doesn't look like I'm going to get the build parts I want, but I'm getting a lot of other really great stuff. Oh, that sound effects are intense.
go ahead and finish this room before we check the little room off to the side there. There is a case of Viking armor. Man, you never know when that'll come in handy. And I think we got all of that. Let's take a quick look in this little room over here. It's over here somewhere, right? I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, I thought I saw a little side room. Must be missing it somehow. Uh, maybe it wasn't here. All right. <laughs> I don't often go in the side rooms. Usually I'm after cargo bulkheads and... Uh, and... Uh, uh, Painted metal, things like that. All right, here we go. Got a bunch of these ceiling turrets. Oops, I missed the reload button. Take out this other turret. That's a lot. That's a lot of firepower. It takes a lot of ammunition to take out a turret. If you're uh, using any other weapon than the pulse spitter, uh, it will take a little bit longer uh, to take these turrets out, but you can do it. They're uh, just different kinds of weapons. They're all perfectly capable of uh, defending you and working just fine. This room is extra creepy. Nice. S class hyperdrive. This is not, uh, oh, S class photon cannon. This is not an S class freighter. Uh, it's just that the RNG uh, has the possibility of giving you <clears throat> any class of module. S-Class Hyperdrive again. I triggered something in the next room there. See, so you already got that. Wait for the smoke to clear a little bit. Hypnotized. I think I already got this side area, didn't I? And I got those. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see them. I hear them. Definitely after me. I think the first time that I did one of these derelicts, I was doing it as a demonstration video to show how it's done, and um, I was fine. The second time I did it, I did it in first person, and uh, I can tell you that in first person, this is hella scarier. <laughs> so if you want to scare your socks off, do this in first person. 
without any background music or anything like that. God, that went all the way through and <laughs> hit the glass on the other side. So I think we had around 200 or so uh, tainted metal when we started. No build parts on this uh, 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 turn, which just means we get some more. But we did get a salvage frigate module, which is absolutely awesome. They are very, very hard to come by now. This is basically the best way to do it. So find yourself a derelict like this one. Uh, once again, this derelict, uh, there's the address for it. This particular one is in Eisentown. This address works in every system, so it will be a C-class derelict by this name uh, with all these crates and boxes and things, but maybe different enemies out there. And uh, I already know that this is C-class, so we're going to pick up a uh, bulkhead and uh, to give away probably to to lava because he has so many freighters um, you can also extract nanites or fabricate technology we're gonna go ahead and take that bulkhead there we go alrighty there we go Get off this ship. You can't save on a derelict. It gives you a warning right when you get out of your ship. Instead of telling you restore uh, point saved, it tells you you can't save. We do have some contraband, but we are going to go ahead and uh, go to a legal system nearby and go straight, <laughs> straight over to the. Uh, uh, to the to the space station. We'll go to a Viking system. I think that was a Viking system. <laughs> Probably get scanned by the by the Sentinels almost right away. I've got a lot of contraband on me. At least two nip nip buds. Excuse me. All righty. Let's go up here to the tainted metal dealer, to the scrap dealer. Whoa. Hang in there, game -o. Howdy. <laughs> uh, there is no honor for the shopkeeper, but there is glory in the hunt, interloper. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. All right, we have... Oh, it doesn't tell me how many, so we're going to have to exit and look. I thought it would tell me how much tainted metal I have, because obviously this is a mess. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Uh, 2,000 tainted metal. Can't buy any objects. But we can dump that in there. And we can dump that in there and run it. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> There's 400 nanites. Uh, you can uh, refine the hypnotic eye as well. Let's see if we can make some sense of this. Uh, and put these things here. And these are trade goods. And there's some Gecknip. And that goes to the freighter. We keep the storm crystals. We make uh, uh, hypercores, uh, warp hypercores out of them. And this is uh, also a um, also a, a curiosity for trade. Uh, but as I said, you can refine these hypnotic eyes into nanites. It's quite a process. It's a few steps. 
Uh, so we got uh, the case of Viking armor, which is worth a million. Uh, 200,000 probably each for the rare cloth and conductive orbs. These are always worth a little bit of money. Um, and these uh, objects, like these scented pheromone bottles, for instance, are worth a lot more money in specific systems, along with Neural Duct. Look at that, three salvage frigate modules. Uh, we need 22. <laughs> Here's some more of those. That up there, and that up there. There's the cargo bulkhead. And we'll put that over there. So, uh, 2,000 tainted metal. Did I say 3,000? I can't remember now. I often can't remember. <laughs> All right, so you can use that to buy suspicious packets. Um, there's three different kinds, goods, technology, and weaponry. You can buy repair kits, although don't. Uh, detoxified sli slime is a placeable uh, object that you can buy. And posters, this wriggling companion, I'll go ahead and buy that. I can't believe I don't have it. I did buy the horrific flesh helmet. Um, on my other account. I'm not really into the helmets. And of course you can buy as many of these hazard protection modules as he has. It doesn't say how many he has. So that's that's cool stuff that you can buy with tainted metal. You can also buy these things with cash. They're extremely expensive. But if you consider uh, the cost of um, one of these uh, 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 receivers, can't think of the name of it now. Uh, emergency broadcast receivers cost uh, a few million units each. If you consider that cost, it might just be worth going to a pirate system. All right, let's go sell our upgrade modules, all of them S-Class. You can go to any one of these dealers to sell modules. Just purchase and then click on sell. Look at that, a thousand units worth of photon cannons. Uh, 465 in scanners and two hyperdrives for 913,000. We don't need any of this stuff right now. Uh, and uh, as it happens, I still have uh, 300,000 nanites from the uh, bug from um, having something stuck in my ship's cargo, which I, I don't know why I kept hitting the button. It just did. <laughs> it wouldn't go away. And I was very curious about it. All right, we have all this other stuff to get rid of. Um, these relics, uh, we're in a Viking system. You can give them away to the locals. And you'll gain a little bit of reputation if they'll take it from you. Uh, if they won't take it from you, it just means that you don't have enough reputation yet. You just do a mission over there on the board. Hello. Would you like a present? How about that one? He accepted my gift with gratitude and gave me one Viking standing. Uh, is there anybody else here? Oh, there's a Gek. Let's see if the Gek will take something from me. I don't have a lot of standing with them, but there we go. Every time I'm able to do that with the Gek or the Corvax, my standing will go up one and I'll have a greater possibility of succeeding in negotiating with them in the future. There you go, you can have another one. <laughs> I don't see any Corvax around. There's a dead guy. I see dead people. <laughs> oh, nice. Gek rank, uh, best friend. <laughs> I've been working on that. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to sell this stuff. We're not going to get the best price, uh, except that this happens to be a mercantile system. So my descented pheromone is going to lean for plus 82%, which still isn't very much money, but it's still plus 82%, which is nice. <laughs> Definitely getting rid of this contraband. I don't want to get scanned everywhere I go. Plus 5.1 on, um, on that yellow um, treasure unearthed treasure. That's awesome. I'm gonna get rid of that. And careful when you're selling stuff like this that you don't accidentally sell something that you need. 
If you do reload your game, as soon as you landed in the station, you created a save. I'm gonna go do that again right now. Create another save. This is a nice runway. Might could do some ship scrapping here. All right, you guys. I wanna thank you all so much for coming along. If you have any questions about doing derelicts or where to do them or uh, what you can expect when you leave a derelict as far as pirate attacks or anything like that, put your questions down in the comments section below. Uh, as always, please have a lovely evening. We'll see you on Thursday, 4 p.m. Pacific time for the live stream with Lava and KJ. Bye-bye.